hi hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel so i just want to say thank you so much for everybody who subscribed so far everybody who's been sharing everybody who's been liking and commenting thank you all so much i really appreciate it let's keep sharing on let's keep inviting people to watch now today is wash day for me and the girls i think it's been about nearly three to four weeks since we last washed we've been moisturizing but not really taking care of it because obviously we've got nowhere to go so we've not been doing much so today is wash day but today we're doing something different the last time we did the treatments and all that but today we're doing uh, detoxifying using clay and charcoal so stay tuned and watch how i do it i'll be filming myself so stay tuned and watch how we do it Okay guys, so this is how the hair looks now. Very dry and it's got some sort of build up in there as well. So the clay and the charcoal um, mask will help it really well. So this is how I'm going to start. Okay, so what I would do first of all is put the hair into sections. Now I'm sure most of us would know by now that um, having natural hair, you can't just work it all one at a go you have to put it into sections when you put it into sections it's very 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 easy and manageable to work with and also when you're washing it makes it very easy some people just put it in twist and just wash with the twist on which is also fine so far as you're washing your scalp really well but in this case I'm just going to put it into sections so that it will help me to put um, the max on so the first thing i'm doing is remember my aloe vera water yes so it has my three oils which is my daisy and shea butter coconut oil and olive oil mixed up so i just um, add a bit of warm water to my aloe vera and that's what i spread on my hair so just like the pre-poo i do that as well before the max just to detangle as well so i'll be using my hand to detangle using my hand to be like the comb to comb it out making sure i work it through thoroughly from the roots to the ends of my hair paying particular attention to the ends of my hair since that's the oldest part of my hair so afterwards i will go ahead and i will apply my max and when i do that then i put that into twist and then move it to the um, to the rest of it all so as you can see here i'm literally just using my hand as a uh, like a comb to sort of like comb it through really well before i apply the max and as you can see i don't know if you can see there were some bits at the end there using my hands to comb it out so here i am using the max on it applying it thoroughly throughout the hair i will do for the rest of it as well so i will leave you here for you to watch So guys, the next step is to leave this on for at least an hour and then I'll get it washed off. 
So this treatment is always done before you wash your hair. So it's some sort of like a pre poo just like we did in our first video. But this time we are pre pooing with clay and charcoal. So I'm just gonna go around and do some work whilst I leave this on for an hour, maybe even more. And then when I wash off, I'll come back and show you how I style. So stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm back and it's all washed. They look fresh with it. Right, before I go on, let me just give you um, some details on what I use. So this is what I used for the detoxing before shampoo. So um, cream of nature, clay and charcoal pre-shampoo detoxifying clay masks. So that's what I used before washing. And um, during the wash, I have this shampoo by VO5, Herbal Essence. VO5 and clarifying shampoo so I used that first I used a clarifying shampoo just because as I said before there was a build up in my hair because I've been using um, I was using a lot of cream to moisturize and all that there was a build up hence I had to detoxify with the charcoal and clay first oh sorry there yeah. the water's dripping now and then um, yeah so after that this is what I used to shampoo first and guys my hair felt so soft when i used the clay and charcoal it was so soft when i took out the rubber to wash it so use that to wash it first and then i have this camel rose um, sweet ginger cleanse and rinse it's also a kind of shampoo but it cleanses the the scalp especially and if there's any build up as i had build up so that was the second one i used and after using this, my hair was even softer, so I didn't even have to use any shampoo on my hair, which is quite, you know, unlikely that I would do. Usually I don't use um, just shampoo to wash. I have to use um, conditioner as well. But this time, after using this one, the cleanse and rinse, it was really good. I didn't have to use any conditioner, so it was good to go. So yeah, um, it's new. I got them from my subscription again so yeah the next step is to style it and i'm going to show you guys what i usually do so we will do the usual lock method living oil cream i mean i've got water it's still fresh from washing so i've got water in there so let's just use this section to show you what i'm going to do so as you can see it's still in the sections that i had it before just so it helps with um, managing when I'm washing and styling so still got some shed in there and note I haven't used any comb or even my tango teaser yet from the time I was detoxifying to sh shampooing I haven't used any comb I've just been using my hand to take out any shedding okay so the first thing is leave-in so I've got my leave-in conditioner here just gonna put a good amount of it if I need more I'll put more so leaving conditioner goes in first making sure every part of your hair gets some of the leaving conditioner actually this section is quite big to work with but I think I can manage so leaving conditioner goes in and you see how I'm working it in from the ends of the hair to the bottom of it. Remember the ends of your hair are your older so you need to take care of it so they don't break or shed too much. So I'm just putting a little bit more. So that's my leaving gone in. And as I'm doing that, again, it's still bringing out all the shed hairs without even using a comb. Now, this is where my tango teaser will come in after the leave-in has made it quite soft even more softer to comb through so i'll take section by section so this one as i said before it was a bit too chunky to work with so first section starting from the ends of the hair and then you tangle your way through to the bottom so there you go take this section i should have taken a clip to clip my hair Again, do the same with that side until I'm satisfied that it's coming through. So 
so now I can combine both. Okay, and when I'm good, so this side, leaving conditioner gone in and detangled. Look, I can almost put my hand through. And this is me feeling if there are any bits that are tangled in there so I can detangle. But there don't seem to be any. Just the hair that shed is coming out. So the next step is to put your oil. Remember the lock method, leaving oil and cream. So the oil from my previous video, if you remember, consists of olive oil, coconut oil, and my shea butter mixed up. So the daisy and shea butter. So I just sprinkle that on there. Now I'm going to be doing twists on my hair because I don't want to leave, leave out my hair for a very long time. So twist will do for me. If I put it in twists, I can style it anyhow I want. I can get up and I just go without styling because it's in twists. So by so doing, I have to make sure I put a lot of everything in there because it will take me a while to moisturize as well and if you're in twist you can also wash i choose not to anyway so oil a bit more concentrating on the ends and rubbing it in okay i'm satisfied with that and the next thing will be the cream and because i'm going to twist i'm going to use this curl activator again from cream of nature pure honey shrinkage the ferns curl activator for dry dehydrated hair and it's pure honey rich coconut oil and creamy shea butter see the importance of shea butter get yourself some daisy and shea butter i have to check that in <laughs> so yeah no sulfates no mineral oil and no silicone so i'm going to be using that to twist so that will be the cream base for my hair but because i'm going to twist i will now do section by section so I'll start from here and I'll have to pause here and get myself a clip because I will need a clip definitely so I'll be back guys okay so I've got my clip I'm just gonna clip this away and I'll show you how I do the twist so I've got this section this section feels dry so I'm gonna put a little bit more of my leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner so there you have it I don't know if it can be seen really well so rub it in and then go back and use the tangle teaser to make sure there are no tangle bits in there okay so now I'm just gonna part this in two and so the first part of my twist and this is where I will use my cream just that amount again from the ends to the bottom and then I twist let me know guys if you want to learn how to do the twist because I understand some people find it difficult or even how to braid and then I can do a video on that as well for this video i will forward this twist because it's going to take a while and then come back to it so I'll show you for the last time that bit as you can see it's just on my fingertip so just rub it in really well and then i twist as i'm twisting see how i'm kind of spreading it it will be stretching it out because when your hair is wet and you put it in twists it shrinks it shrinks a lot so when i'm doing it this way it kind of stretches it out a little bit just a little bit for me which is fine because i'm going to keep it in for a long time so yep stay tuned and watch <laughs>
Okay, guys, it's all done. Ha! Huh. I am tired, but thank God it's all done. So this is the final outcome. I'll just do a 360 quickly for you to see. Yep, and this is the final outcome of it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and um, I hope this was um, helpful to someone. Um, this should last me at least a month. That is, if I don't decide to take it off at a point, knowing me, I might change my mind. But anyway, with good moisturizing, it should last me at least a month. And as I said, it can be washed, even in this way. You can do a lot with it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm tired. <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And also, if you haven't already, turn on your notifications so you'll be receiving more from me. And don't forget to share it on to people, okay? I'll be counting on that. So thank you all so much. Love you all. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Bye.